The Conflict Between Jews and Muslims The conflict between Arabs and Jews in the modern era is rooted in a complex history of political, national, and religious factors. The roots of today's conflict dates back to World War I, where the English were in a stalemate war with Germany, and needed the continued support of Russia on the Eastern Front and the Arabs in the Mideast to take the pressure off the Western Front. To get their support, the English made conflicting promises to Jews to create a Jewish homeland in Palestine and to the Arabs the promises of self-rule. Behind the scenes, the English and the French agreed to divide up the Ottoman Empire after World War I. Despite a shared heritage, these political and historical factors have led to tensions and conflicts in the contemporary era. A Common Religious Background Abraham was a figure revered by both Jews and Muslims as a patriarch and prophet. Both religions trace their lineage back to Abraham through his two sons, Isaac, in the case of Jews, and Ishmael, in the case of Muslims. The story of Isaac and Ishmael is rooted in biblical and Islamic traditions, as these figures are significant in both Judaism and Islam. The story is primarily found in the Hebrew Bible, Old Testament, and the Quran. In the biblical narrative, Abraham had two sons, Ishmael, born to Hagar, Sarah's maidservant, and Isaac, born to Sarah. The conflict arose over the issue of inheritance and the covenant that God made with Abraham. According to the biblical account, God promised Abraham that his descendants would inherit the land of Canaan. However, Sarah became jealous of Hagar and Ishmael, leading to their expulsion from Abraham's household. In the Islamic tradition, the story is similar. Abraham, along with his son Ishmael, is believed to have built the Kaaba in Mecca, a central sacred site in Islam. The Quran does not specify Sarah's jealousy or Hagar's expulsion in the same way as the biblical narrative, but it does emphasize the testing of Abraham's faith and the willingness of both Abraham and Ishmael to submit to God's will. The conflict between Isaac and Ishmael is often viewed more as a symbolic and theological matter rather than a historical feud. In both traditions, Isaac and Ishmael are considered prophets, and their descendants are seen as part of the broader Abrahamic tradition. Islam, as a religion, recognizes and respects the prophets of Judaism, including figures like Moses and Abraham. Islam also acknowledges the children of Israel as a chosen community in the Quran. The relationship between Jews and Muslims historically has been diverse with periods of coexistence and collaboration, as well as periods of tension and conflict. The Conflict The complex and multifaceted history of tensions between Jews and Arabs has been shaped in recent times by a series of key events that span decades, encompassing geopolitical, historical, and ideological factors that have deeply influenced the relationship between these two communities in the Middle East. Late 19th and Early 20th Century Zionist Movement The late 19th and early 20th centuries saw the rise of the Zionist movement, which sought to establish a national homeland for the Jewish people. The movement gained momentum, especially in the wake of anti-Semitic incidents in Europe. The Balfour Declaration, 1917 During World War I, the British government issued the Balfour Declaration in 1917, expressing support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. The British government, under Prime Minister David Lloyd George and Foreign Secretary Arthur Balfour, believed that expressing support for a Jewish homeland in Palestine would garner favor with the influential Jewish leadership in the Russian Revolution to remain in the war on the side of the British. Unfortunately, it failed as the Russian Jewish revolutionary leadership was more interested in establishing a socialist state in Russia than a Jewish state in Palestine. This declaration sowed the seeds for future conflicts over land and identity. The Mandate Period, 
1920-1948. Under the League of Nations after World War I, the French and English, along with other Allied powers, divided up the Ottoman Empire. France was granted control over Syria and Lebanon as League of Nations mandates, and the United Kingdom received mandates for Iraq and Palestine. The division of the Ottoman Empire and the subsequent treaties played a significant role in shaping the modern Middle East and contributed to geopolitical issues that persist to this day. During this period witnessed increased Jewish immigration, leading to tensions with the Arab population. United Nations Partition Plan, 1947 The United Nations proposed a partition plan in 1947, recommending the establishment of separate Jewish and Arab states in Palestine. The plan was accepted by Jewish leaders but rejected by Arab leaders, leading to increased hostilities. The Declaration of the State of Israel, 1948 on May 14, 1948, David Ben-Gurion, the head of the Jewish agency, declared the establishment of the State of Israel. Arab states opposed the declaration, leading to the Arab-Israeli War of 1948-1949. The Arab-Israeli Wars and Ongoing Conflicts Subsequent Arab-Israeli Wars, 1956, 1967, 1973, and the Israeli occupation of territories, including the West Bank and Gaza Strip, further escalated tensions. Before World War II The Middle East was home to a diverse population, including Jewish communities in various countries. After World War II and the Holocaust, Israel became the primary home for a significant number of Jews, both from within the country and through immigration from other regions. The Jewish population in Israel has grown substantially since its establishment, reaching over 6 million as of January 2022. The Arab-Israeli War of 1948-1949 The Arab-Israeli War of 1948-1949 had significant consequences for the demographic makeup of the region, leading to the migration of both Arabs and Jews. A large number of Palestinian Arabs fled or were expelled from their homes during the conflict. The majority of the Arab refugees sought shelter in Gaza, the West Bank, and neighboring Arab countries. The displacement of Palestinian Arabs created a refugee crisis that persists to this day. It is estimated that approximately 700,000 Palestinians became refugees as a result of the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. In addition, between 850,000 to 1 million Jews were expelled from Arab countries and Iran, migrating to Israel. The consequences of the 1948-1949 war had profound and lasting effects on the demographic, political, and social landscape of the Middle East. Iran. Feeding the conflict was the 1979 Iran Islamic Revolution, which led to the establishment of an Islamic Republic, led by Ayatollah Khomeini, opposed to Israel's existence, viewing it as an illegitimate state created through the dispossession of Palestinians. Iran and Israel are often seen as regional rivals competing for influence in the Middle East. Iran's support and funding for militant groups like Hezbollah in Lebanon and Hamas in the Gaza Strip, both of which oppose Israel, has fueled tensions and war. Hamas Hamas originated in 1987 during the First Intifada, an uprising against Israeli rule in the occupied territories. It was founded as an offshoot of the Muslim Brotherhood and emerged as a political and militant organization with the goal of establishing an Islamic State in historic Palestine. The Palestinian Islamic Jihad The Palestinian Islamic Jihad was established earlier, in 1981, during the Lebanese Civil War. Fati Shakaki and Abd al-Aziz Auda, both Palestinian activists, founded the group. Palestinian Islamic Jihad aims to establish an Islamic state in all of historic Palestine and rejects any compromise with Israel. 
Both groups share a common goal of opposing Israeli presence in the Palestinian territories and advocate for the establishment of an Islamic state. They have been involved in armed resistance against Israel and are known for their involvement in suicide bombings, rocket attacks, and other forms of violence. The international community, including the United States and the European Union, designates both Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad as terrorist organizations. The Israeli-Palestinian Conflict The Israeli-Palestinian conflict, with its roots in competing national aspirations and territorial claims, has been a central focus of the broader Arab-Israeli conflict. Issues such as borders, refugees, and the status of Jerusalem have been contentious. The long-standing conflict between Israel and Iran and its supporters revolves around fundamental ideological differences, with Israel seeking to maintain a Jewish state and Iran advocating for an Islamic state in all of Palestine. As long as Iran continues to support terrorist organizations, the conflict will continue. This irreconcilable ideological divide has hindered diplomatic efforts and contributed to ongoing tensions in the region making a compromise between the two nations challenging and impossible.